quick video on fixing the recording for a mic in DaVinci on the Fairlight tab. <laughs> this whole thing I threw a couple of shots in then I'm gonna do a voiceover over that I'm, <laughs> that I'm gonna do a voiceover for once I have the clips in here I'm gonna go over to the Fairlight tab to do my recording we're just gonna go in and we're gonna make a mono track then we slide this little slider over input we're gonna go to input and then we're gonna click one of our mics or the mic that we want to use we're gonna patch it in then close this tab then we're going to hit the R to arm that channel to record. And then we're just going to, you know, pick the spot in which we want to start our recording. We click record and we start recording. Most people can get to this far, but then once they hit the stop recording, the bar just disappears. And a lot of people have been saying, I don't know how to do it. It's sort of recording, but it's not actually saving the file. What's going on here? So let's fix that. Let's first go and we're going to save our project and then quit DaVinci. What we need to do is come down here, we're gonna right click on our little speaker, come into recording devices, and we're gonna pick the mic that we're gonna be using. So in this case, it's this Rode mic. We're gonna go into properties, then to advanced. From advanced, we're gonna go down and make sure it's at 48K Hertz. Okay, that's the big thing that, it, that we have to make sure of. Apply and okay and then okay again, and then start up DaVinci once again. Go back into our project that we were working on. All right, now that we're back in our project, we just wanna make sure that our mic is still, our mic is still uh, patched in, and it is, so we're good on that front. Now we go back into our video where we wanna start recording. We arm the channel, we hit the little R, then we start our recording, same exact thing, awesome. We have our voiceover, hit stop. Now we have a WAV file. The mic that I was using for this recording is a bit low so I can just bump this up and then we can see our waveform. This should solve the problem for a lot of people. If you have any other issues, leave them down in the comments. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching. <laughs>